All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CLC Paint YouTube channel. Oh, I bumped you there. Got this all ready with some wet white up there, and we'll just start putting some colors on the canvas and see what happens. I'm thinking maybe we'll start our sky today. Look how dry that is. Super dry. Maybe we'll just grab some of that in the brush. Tap it. Hopefully you can see that. All right. And that is Indian yellow. I think I'm just going to put a touch up here. Maybe floating around. And just in case we have water later, there might be a touch down there. Now. That. I'm just going to blend this slightly so we don't have to come back and blend it too much later. Now I'm going to take this same brush here. Sorry about the shadows, trying to keep out of the light by sitting to the side over here. We're going to go through the Lizard and Crimson. And I'm going to tap that on the brush. There we go, I'll kind of show you what that looks like. And now, let's take some of this and we're going to go around the edges of our yellow here. And we'll even work down into it here and there. We just want these feathered edges that are easy to blend out. And put the brush over. You can see the colors blending on the brush and see how it's getting different, different tones there. I'm going to look. Yeah. Looks a little different in the camera, but that's all right. This is just for fun, just for practice. Ooh, that makes it real dark. There we go. Add that in along the edges and then down here make this straighter almost start swooping it if this is going to be water we'll want it to be nice and straight there we'll call that good I'm going to wipe the brush off on a paper towel just to get as much paint off of it as I, as I can off of it as I can and I'm going to come back just on the edges here and softly, I'm just going to softly blend out. I'm not pushing very hard here. Just kind of rubbing it. And that softens up the blend, kind of brings the liquid white through. You really just want a separator in between the blue we're about to put in the sky. Blend that. Ooh, big old hair there. <laughs> now, same exact brush. Hopefully we don't make green. Blue is usually too strong to make green anyways. Too strong, it'll eat the yellow right up. But we don't want to go straight into the yellow, so we needed a separator here. And start up here in the corner. Come across to this corner. Get a bit more blue. Maybe a little darker up there. Bring it down to the edge over here. Just putting color on canvas, try, trying to practice not worrying. Not worrying about it, just, just do it. By the time you think of 
what kind of painting you want to do and how, you know by the time you perfect it you would have done five paintings already and I find that people like my paintings a lot more than I like them so I can try to do that myself I can try to like them more than I like them <laughs> if that makes sense now now that we've got that nice nice and soft on there nice and blended Grab a touch more of the blue and let's come straight in down here just in case we do water later we don't have to and something like that now a touch more of the blue gotta come in this way try to do it straight this is gonna be tough for me at this angle there we go there we go and maybe something like that. I'll try to fix this. Sorry about the shadows. If that's bothering you. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you think uh, you like the other angle. Where it actually shows me in the picture. Or if you like this closer up angle here. This closer up angle here. Now. Now. Does that look a little different like that? So we just got this glow going on up here. Now I'm going to take the blue brush and we're going to grab some crimson. We're going to tap that right in between the blue and the crimson because we want to make a nice lavender, purple, whatever you want to call it. And you can see already we're starting to get a good lavender color. I'm going to touch more of the crimson. Let's work with that. Maybe, maybe in our scene, shit. Let's go a touch more crimson, just for the sake of it. Maybe in our scene, oh yeah, look at that color. There's a little cloud. See, if I have too much blue here, we'll get green, so I'm gonna make sure I've got enough crimson in the brush. Enough crimson. And we'll just have a nice, nice little cloud formation living there. And I always have my clouds coming down in, so I'm going to change it up today. Have this cloud come down off. And then he's got a little, little part coming out there. Be careful, that got a little blue there, so I'm going to put some crimson in it. There we go. Maybe get a little more crimson, a little more blue. Maybe we've got a big cloud. He's living right over here. See, that's kind of getting green there. That's all right. I didn't get too green. So I always make them come down in. Maybe, maybe the highlights to these clouds will change things up for us. And he just comes off over there. Maybe he's living down here too. A little action. Shoot, that's some that's some crazy clouds. Just trying to get wild with my skies here lately. I'm getting kind of bored with the normal the normal just blue and stuff. I'm trying to add colors. The more colors, the more fun. Now we're gonna set this brush to the side for just a moment. Maybe we'll use, let's just use our fan brush. I'm going to come right over here into some white. Into some white. Just grab a bunch of that. A bunch of that. Now, maybe, maybe one lives, shoot, maybe up there. Maybe this one's interesting because... It's a mix, because the highlight should be on the bottom, probably. Maybe I'll grab a touch of yellow. We'll run that through our white. Yeah, we'll get some nice yellow. Nice yellow highlights on the bottom of this, this cloud here. How's that? I like it. Careful, because you'll get green up in here, so let's just leave that like that. We'll blend it off in a minute. Now. 
Grab some more of that. And just on the bottom of this cloud, maybe. And that's coming. Maybe there's a little light shining up there. Back over there. And on this one, you can see those colors are blending together. And I'm just letting this happen. Maybe it happens right over there, too. Shoot, maybe we grab a little more white. And we've got some highlights on this cloud. And under, coming up through this part of the cloud. Shoot, just wherever. Just wherever. There we go. This is looking wild already. Wild already. There, I like that. Maybe we need, I'm going to wipe off the yellowish white as much as I can. Grab some pure white. And right there. Something like that. Place that back on the palette as much as I can. Wipe off the brush. Set it over here to the side. Now we got these crazy colors going on. I think right here. We need a bit of a bit of an extra part of the cloud there. Now. Now, we had this brush that we used in the very beginning to apply the liquid white to the canvas. Let me see how much time we got in our video. It looks like... Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It looks like we're 11 minutes in. I think we had like 20 some. So let's, let's stir up these clouds real quick. Just real quick. I'm going to use this top corner to blend the white. I'm just doing circles. I don't want to spend too much time doing this. A little hair got off there. You just grab it. Just grab it and pull it off. Now, let's blend this one first. Because it's in the lightest. It's like our brightest cloud there. I'm going to blend that guy. And then we're going to keep our yellow. We're going to blend this cloud. And we're going to blend this one. How about this guy? And this guy. Just stirring them up. Trying to blend the bottoms. I'm just going to see what we end up with here. Really stirred that one up, almost destroyed it. Almost destroyed it, really. Whew. Now, some beautiful things here. Some beautiful things. Soft. See all the different colors, though, allow this to really make it interesting. Now, I'm going to wipe off the brush before it got too blue. Just trying to keep that pure white. And shoot, maybe let's fluff them real quick. Softly. Softly. Don't go because you'll string them way up to short little strokes. Yeah. There we go. Maybe circular. Little circular shapes. Circular shapes. Just lifting. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful sky. And see, I string those too high, like, and so you can just come, come back across and it evens them out. Softens it out, too. If you get a bunch of blue on your brush, when you pull across, it'll put blue. So careful. Just careful. That's something that comes with time. You can kind of tell where your brush has been, the colors that's hanging out on your brush. And you can begin to use that to your advantage. Let's see, there's a shadowy little cloud back there. Just want to soften this and call it good. Soften this at the bottom. Make it real misty. See the brush got a bunch of blue on it there, that's fine. And... I'm going to call that a sky. Isn't that a fantastic sky? 
exciting sunset sky, ladies and gentlemen. Give you a quick zoom in. Looks like we're 15, 15 minutes out of 23. So I think we got, you see how bright the sun shines off the canvas. So I think we've got shadow of the phone there. Got about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So let's continue on here if I can fix your position. <laughs> One day I'll get a gimbal, huh? That might be smart. It's a beautiful sun we got going. Sorry if the camera's tilted. Just having fun, folks. Just having fun. Now, let's move all these brushes and paper towels out of the way. Let's grab, shoot. Big old chunk of Van Dyke Brown and Midnight Black. I don't want to practice right up in here. I don't want to destroy my sky. It's so beautiful, but yeah, right up in here, we've got a big old, big old one of those round-looking mountains, and he's got a, he's got a little peak there, and you can scrape this thickness off and reuse it to apply wherever you want to. And let's just call that our mountain today. I like that. I like that. Now, let's see if we can pull it off quick enough. I got bright red. All we're going to need is a tiny bit of yellow ochre here. This is like a gold yellow. Gold yellow. Put some of that down. I'm going practicing these brown mountains. I'm practicing these brown mountains. Now. Let's try this. We're going to take a little bit of this Van Dyke Brown. I'm going to place it down here. Probably need more than that, but we'll let the highlight colors do the talking this time. Then we're going to take some of the ochre. Then we're going to take some of the red. Hope you can see this. We're just going to play these browns, ochres, reds together. I want to get a beautiful color. And then we're going to grab our white over here, but I'm going to wipe the knife off real quick. Grab all the white we have left. And just pull that right through. Pull that right through. And then on top of that, let's take a bit more of the Van Dyke Brown just to brown it down a bit. Now, let's see what we ended up with. So you take this pile, because that's a layer of colors now, and you grab a chunk out of it. And you see what colors you end up having left. I'm going to do the right side. You see, yeah, the dark, dark browns at the bottom of the knife. And then the ochres. And the ochres come out. Let's do another. Ooh, so red. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I pushed a little hard there, but whatever whatever look at that red shine oh beautiful especially with the sunset one thing i forgot to do which you should do if you remember to is pull down your mountain before you start doing all these highlights i can kind of just improvise here And something, something like that. There. Call that good. What's our time? 19. All right, a few more minutes. Let's finish these highlights and we'll call it a video. If you've got value, consider subscribing. Consider smashing that like button. That helps it push, push these videos through the algorithm to reach more people. Ooh, there's a nice, there's a nice highlight there. If you've actually painted along with me before and done one of these, shoot, let me know. I don't, I don't know if anybody ever has. I mean, I put these tutorials out there to help people maybe, you know, maybe get a different description or a different um, dialogue that might help explain a little bit better. Now see, we got all these peaks going on. They're getting kind of messy, so let's 
pick some blue. A little bit of white. Let's take ourselves a blue color here and go. That's a bright blue, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful though? It's amazing. This needs to go the other direction. It got a little big there. That's all right. We'll just we'll just cut it right off. And blue back there. And that'll give you an idea just for now. We'll come back and do more work on this later. But I want to say thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. And I'll be back in the future to finish this painting. Always looks weird at first. Gets better as time goes on. Yeah, a little blue back in there. Mm hmm Boom. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. It's crazy. Maybe it's a volcano. It looks like it's got a hole up in the top. <laughs> Maybe we can fix that out, too. Let's see. Let's see if I can hold the camera and fix it. I'm going to grab a little highlight color. And just... Now it looks like it's shooting out. Look at the volcano, it's exploding. So that what that means is we needed some dark to go behind the highlight right there. Yeah, yeah, there we go. See that shapes it a bit more there. And then you can reapply your highlight back over that. That may be finished by the next video. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, smash that like button. The sky is amazing. Set you back over here. Get out of the light for a sec. Keep painting.